Bill, if you own a timberland track, uh, how do you, do you determine the amount of timber that's on that property? The best way to determine the amount of timber is to have a, a consulting forester do a timber cruise on the property. The timber cruise estimates the volume of the timber and that basically is done by taking a statistical sample of the particular stand that you're interested in. You take plots and measure the height and the diameter, then you go to the tables under a particular log rule, and there are different log rules for different areas of the country that are used to determine the board footage of a particular tree. And these samples are taken, usually you do a 10 to 20% sample. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. On some occasions where you have very, very high quality timber, a uh, hundred percent sample will be taken hmm. of the track to determine uh, the volume of timber there. And then, then you can price it out based on size and species. You know, once the volume is determined uh, either in board feed or tonnage and there are tables uh, for different, the different log rules are used depending on the areas. Uh, those log rules are uh, common to those particular areas and, and give a varied uh, amount of timber based on how it's cut and what have you. But, uh, you know, this gives you the volume, then you can determine from sales in the area uh, what different species sell for and determine the value of it. So you, you'll come up with a list of the different species on the property, yes. the approximate volumes of each species, and then from the market, what is the value of that species today? Exactly. And the value of the timber fluctuates? Oh yes, definitely so. You know, a lot of it depends on the demand, you know, for a particular type of timber, or you know, a lot of times the location of the stand can increase the value of it. If it, you can get into it in the wintertime and harvest it, it's gonna be, have some added value as opposed to a stand that may be in some in or near low grounds where uh, it's going to be difficult to get into it in bad weather. Uh, is there a difference between uh, a, a pine plantation where it's all basically going to be even aged because it was planted and harvested in a cycle versus a hardwood stand that um, probably has different aged trees? Well that uh, it's probably easier to uh, get an estimate of volume in an even age stand than it is in an uneven age stand. A lot of it uh, depends on the experience of the forester doing the uh, timber evaluation or timber cruise as to selecting the proper number of samples you know, for the particular track of land.